Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to see leg riddles. So here is the key. So birds have two legs and dogs have four legs and ladybugs have six legs. We have to use this key to solve the problems. So let's see an example. There are forty-eight legs, and they all belong to dogs. How many dogs are there? So they are saying that there are forty-eight legs, and they all belong to dogs. Remember, one dog has four legs. So we have to find x dogs has forty-eight legs. So here we have to find the x value. So let's cross multiply x into four. X into four must equal one into forty-eight or forty-eight into one. Both of these equations are equal, or both of them give the same answer. Here, four is in multiplication. So when this four goes to the other side, it becomes division. We have to do this to find the x value. So that means x equals forty-eight divided by four. So since forty-eight divided by four is twelve. X must equal twelve, so that means twelve dogs have forty-eight legs. So let's see another word problem. So there are three ladybugs, seven dogs, and thirteen birds in the house. How many legs are there all together? So first, let's find for ladybugs. So here they are saying it's three ladybugs. Remember, one ladybug has six legs. We have to find how much legs three ladybugs have. So three ladybug equal to x legs. Here x is the unknown which we have to find. So we have to cross multiply one into x. Then we cross multiply three into six. So both these equations are equal since one of the equations has a variable and the other doesn't. I'm going to solve the one that doesn't have the variable. I can do that because both of these equations, one into x and three into six, are equal here. So three into six is eighteen. So that means x is eighteen. So three ladybugs have eighteen legs. Now let's solve for seven dogs. So remember, one dog has four legs. Here they're asking how much legs seven dogs have. So seven dogs equal to x legs. So let's cross multiply. So multiply one into x. Next, four into seven, or seven into four. Here, one equation has a variable, while the other has numbers. So let's multiply the equation with the numbers. So seven into four is twenty-eight. So x must equal twenty-eight. So that means seven dogs have twenty-eight legs. Now let's see for thirteen birds. So remember, one bird has two legs. So thirteen birds equals x legs. Here we have to find the x value. Let's cross multiply. So one into x and two into thirteen. So both of these equations are equal. So let's solve two into thirteen, which has numbers. Since this equation one into x has a variable, we have to solve the other one. So two into thirteen is twenty-six. So x must equal twenty-six. So now we have to see how many legs are there all together. So that means we have to add the number of legs for three ladybugs, seven dogs, and thirteen birds. So remember, three ladybugs have eighteen legs. So write eighteen. Now we have to see for seven dogs. Seven dogs have twenty-eight legs. So we have to do eighteen plus twenty-eight. Now for birds, thirteen birds have twenty-six legs. So we have to write plus twenty-six. So we have to add these three numbers: eighteen plus twenty-eight plus twenty-six, which gives us seventy-two legs. So that means there are seventy-two legs all together. Let's see another example. There are thirty-six legs in the house. All of the legs belong to birds, dogs, and ladybugs. How many of each creature—birds, dogs, and ladybugs—might be in the house? 
So there are many possible answers for this question. So see how many you can find. So take your time and pause this video. So I have written a graph and written down the answers. These are not the only answers. There are many more answers. So one of the combinations is there are six birds, three dogs and two ladybugs. And the other one is two birds, two dogs, four ladybugs. The next one is eight birds, two dogs, two ladybugs. And the last and final one is five birds, five dogs and one ladybug. Now let me explain you how I got these numbers in the chart. So birds have two legs. So let's write into two in the birds column in each number. So two into two, eight into two and five into two. Now let's see for dogs. So dogs have four legs. So let's write into four. So it's three into four, two into four, two into four and five into four. Now let's see for ladybugs. Ladybugs have six legs. So it's two into six, four into six, two into six and one into six. So six into two is 12 and 3 into 4 is also 12 and 2 into 6 is also 12. So when we add 12 plus 12 plus 12, we get 36. And similarly for the other ones. As you see, all of these rows equal 36. So this is how you check your answer. Thanks for watching.